Hi everybody, it's Malik again on his channel. Today I will show you a fairly simple way to update Windows 10 to Windows 11, it will be clear even to inexperienced computer users, and this method always works with excellent results. All your photos, videos, documents, all programs and games that are on your computer, all personal data will remain unchanged after the update is completed. Before proceeding with the update, Microsoft suggests testing your computer or laptop with a special PC health check application. Open the video description and click the link to the app download page. The download page has opened, scroll down a bit and click here. The application has loaded and the browser can be closed. I open Explorer, the Downloads folder, and double-click on the application icon. Now you need to install this application, Finish. The application has launched, click Check Now. And here we see that my computer is suitable for Windows 11 in all respects. Let's see all the results. Yes, my computer is ready for the update, and we continue with the video review. But if for any of you this application showed that Windows 11 cannot be installed on your computer due to restrictions, then you can find recommendations on the internet on how to bypass these restrictions and upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11. I offer one of the easiest ways to install Windows 11 instead of Windows 10 on an unsupported device in my other video tutorial, you can find the link in the description of my video. Now click the start button, open settings, then open update security. Please note that your computer must have the latest security updates for Windows 10 before starting the process. And also open the activation tab. Your Windows 10 must be activated using a digital license linked to your account. The whole process takes a lot of time, and if you are doing this on a laptop, then connect it to a power source. You should also turn off any hardware connected to your computer, including printers, phones, cameras, external hard drives, and other USB peripherals. And so, pen a browser, and in the search, write, download Windows 11. Or open the video description, and follow the link to the Windows 11 download page. In this window, you need to download a special media creation tool application to your computer, which will control and update your Windows to Windows 11, you can see the details on the same page. Now you need to click, here, and the application will be downloaded to your computer. You can close the browser, open Explorer, then the Downloads folder, and run the application. Here you need to click, accept and install, and the update process has begun. For a while you do not need to do anything, and you can continue to work at the computer or just relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. All Windows 11 files have been downloaded, and in order to continue updating, you must restart your computer. My computer restarted and the process of installing Windows 11 files began, during the update process the computer should automatically restart several times. Least do not turn off your computer. Windows 11 welcomes us. The last step has completed and my Windows 11 desktop is now open. I hope everything went well for you too. Let's look at the specification of the updated Windows and for this I open settings, then the system section, now scroll down and open the tab, about. Yes, now I have the latest version of Windows 11 on my computer. To check the activation. I open the system section again, and here I click, activation.
In this tab we see that the new Windows 11 is activated with a digital license linked to my account. Now we can see that all my files after the update are not lost and have not changed at all and also all programs and applications will continue to work successfully in the new Windows 11. You should also know that if, after getting acquainted with the new operating system you will want to give up Windows 11, or your computer after the update works with delays or is slow and does not work well, then within 10 days after the update you can return to Windows 10 without lost personal data. Click on the tab, click, here, and then follow the system's recommendations. How to do this, you can see in my other video, the link is in the description of this video. This concludes my video review and I hope what I just said could help you and if you found it helpful please share my video with someone. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck.